Hey guys, this is Stephanie and I'm Stacks on Stacks on Stacks. Monday reads and it's gonna be a quick one guys so last week I was in the process of moving from my old office to my new office which means that I had to bring a lot of crap home because I'm moving to a much smaller office and it's all like all over here in the basement <laughs> the only place that isn't covered with stuff is right in front of this bookshelf Even my other bookshelf is piled in front of stuff so I have a lot of work I need to do this week to get this cleared up before my birthday party I, my birthday is this week I turn 37 I'm excited actually I don't feel my age if you're in your 20s you're probably like oh my gosh she is so old by the time you get your 30s you're kind of like 37 is like 31. It's really not that different it's outside of the fact that, you know, my knees might creak a little in the morning and things such as that. But I guess that's just part of getting older. I don't know. But I feel great and I like my birthday. It's fun. I'm having a costume party where everybody has to dress up like a character from a movie and I will take some pictures and maybe put it in next week's Monday reads so you can see what I dressed up as. It's a secret, but it has to be a character from a movie and an actual character with an actual name. You can't come as like an extra or something like that. So because I was moving, I actually didn't finish a single book this week. I know, right? I just didn't have the time to read as much as I wanted to, though I did almost finish The Illusionist Apprentice. It, it finally started picking up a little after a little over halfway. I have like 40 pages left. I started picking up, but then it kind of went, yo, and it just, I don't know. At this point, I feel like I should just finish it just to see what happens. I feel like finally with 40 pages left, a small twist has happened that I did predict, but I don't know. Maybe I'm just being too harsh and expecting too much. I don't, I don't know. Who knows? Anybody who's read the book, that's who knows. Otherwise, I'm reading The Diviners by Libba Braid. I'm actually almost done with it. This bookmark is not accurate because it fell out. I, I would guess I have a little less than 100 pages to go. I would guess somewhere around 80 or so. I'm loving this book. I am loving it. And all these people were like, it's scary and, and, and gory. And it is a little scary and gory. I did kind of skip a couple paragraphs where they were describing a dead body that was, you know, dismembered for a sacrifice. And I was like, ah, oh, skippity, skippity, skip. Which actually, I find that kind of thing interesting, oddly enough, and not as gory as you might think. Because I took a cadaver course about a year ago, kind of a continuing ed thing for massage, and I got to dissect a fresh body cadaver, which means that it was not embalmed, so it wasn't all that yellow and tan color. It was like actually like human person color. And it was really interesting. I learned a ton from it. And one of the biggest things I learned is our bodies smell. <laughs> because the body was frozen, it started to decomp as soon as it started to thaw and it just stinks. It's bad, it's a bad smell. So that's one thing when I read these scenes, I'm like, they don't really talk about like the smell like ever they should, because it's repulsive. And if you wanna be repulsive in a book, talk about the bad smell, but they don't, but they should. But that isn't really bothering me and all the, like the satanic-y, ritual-y stuff. Like, I don't know, I guess it's, just fiction to me so it doesn't really bother bother me but it's good writing and it's really interesting and I like Evie even though she's kind of snotty and entitled and I like our side characters um I like Memphis I like Theta I, I like them all I like these characters I like to see their stories intersect and this is a series I'm pretty confident I will finish reading unless the last 80 pages like pees down its leg. I think I'm going to like this series and I might be tempted to go ahead and just read the next two books, but I have so many other books I'm supposed to be reading by the end of the year that I might put it off till January. I don't know. I've been thinking a little bit about my January resolutions. We'll have to see what I can come up with. But that is it. I told you guys this is going to be short because I didn't actually finish anything. I just am in the midst of two books. And actually a third one, I was going to pick up Evelyn Hardcastle, but I have like three other books from my library on audiobook and two other ones sitting upstairs. And I'm like, I need to do these before I do the one that I already own. And I need to finish Save the Date as well because I probably have like maybe 100 pages left of that one as well. Not quite. And it has to go back to the library in like a week and a half. And I mean, they've got to be sick of me just checking it out over and over and over again. Normal people would buy it, but I'm not loving it. So I don't want to pay full price. I want to wait for it to go to book outlet. 
I'm the worst. So that is it though. That is all I've read this week. I didn't even go to a movie last week. I was gonna go to The Hate You Give, but I didn't because again, I was so busy packing up my office and I was exhausted just from everything, but I am moved into my new office. I will start there today and I'm really excited about that. And I will have a little more time off at this office because I'm sharing the room with another massage therapist. So I have like Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and she has it Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. So I'm hoping that I'll have a little more time to read maybe since I have two full days off. Usually I have off one, maybe and a half, sometimes not even one. So maybe this will help me with a little more balance in my life. We will have to see. Be sure to tell me down below what you guys are currently reading because I would love to know. Also tell me down below if there is a book that you're trying to finish before the end of the year, like one that you've already started, like I have here, and you're like, oh my goodness, I need to finish this book. Comment with that down below because I would like to feel like I'm not the only person who starts numerous books and has a hard time getting through them because I know I'm not the only one. I know I'm not the only one, right? I post videos most Monday, Tuesday, Friday, so you can usually find me here then. And I will look forward to seeing you guys soon. Goodbye. Oh, yes. What a good girl. Nice, darling. <laughs> she kept, like, half opening her eyes, like, what is that? What are you doing? Oh, no. Is that his hand? Yes. Hey, punk. Hey, my woman. My woman. Okay.